Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there, welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can utilize text frames to achieve an effect such as this. Now, sometimes you want or you may want or your client may ask you to create a specific design that's special. Uh, something that has a touch, an artistic touch. Now, I taught you about text frames, but I did not actually teach you that you can do what you're, what you're looking at here on the screen with text frames. So this image, it basically couples multiple effects. One is the duotone effect, which basically edits the color of the image. Two is a, a text frame, right, that we created. Three is a shadow of the text frame with blur. And of course, two images, one for the background, one for the frame, and a technique to make the image look like this. This image is three-dimensional, and it's clear what it means. And basically, you can start using this kind of, you know, these kinds of things to create interesting effects. Of course, there's multi many effects that you're going to learn in this particular course. It's not short of effects. You're really going to master them all. But in, in case you want to come across as artistic, also as an expert in your field, you may want from time to time to design things like these to showcase your mastery. So let's go and do this, shall we? It's not going to take us that long. And we're going to do an image, you know, about the desert. You know, so let's just say, for example, we're creating a uh, desert image with text that says desert. And uh, so let's go. First and foremost, we're going to take it slowly here. I want you to simply come over here and click on create a design. Once you have done so, go to custom size. And basically here, I'm going to go for 16 by 9 inches. Uh, since that is the image uh, size that I think is good for this application. Second is we're going to write a text that says desert in a font, a solid font. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, so here we have text. All we need to do is to make sure that we click this particular text right over here. So let's just click it. Now, at, once you click the text, you need to come over here and just go to caps lock and write desert. Now, once you've written desert, here's the thing. I'm going to click here and switch the font by selecting a different font. Uh, we're not going to go over fonts again and how you can find them. We've went through the process of uh, or everything, uh, we've explained everything about the Canva interface. And of course, once it changed, we can make some update uh, videos regarding that. But now as I have changed this to League Spartan, I can I can come over here and just start simply making this bigger. So once I make my text bigger, and I think this is good, we can come over here and download this with a transparent background. Again, I don't want to go over the transparent background the solution I've shown you for free Canva users, which is basically using the Canva app here inside of the app, which is the background eraser or the remove.bg tool. I'm going to download this with a transparent background. And now once I have my transparent background, I could honestly just get rid of this. So I just can, I can click it, get rid of that and go to Photopea. Now inside of Photopea, you can click open from computer and all you need to do right now is to select that particular text which you want to open from computer. Now, I've selected it and that's easy. So you know how to create frames. You just have to click control and select this particular text. Once that is said and done, make sure you come over here to paths and then you can scroll down and you can see this selection to path button which you can click. It will create a work path for you and then you can come over here to layer. You can hover down, click on vector mask and then select current path. Once you've done that, you finish the job. You can just come and click file and make sure you click export as, and this should be exported as a PDF because this is a frame. Make sure you click save and that is that. So now this is done. So now that we have done this, I want you to go back to our desert image. One thing you need to do is to make sure you drag the PDF right over here, make sure it sticks. And now it's gonna start loading. Doesn't take more than about two seconds or three, five. Now I'm going to click and there's my frame. So I want you to go over here and make sure you detach this image from the background, but do not get rid of it. Make sure you just um, don't do it like this. Click control when you're moving it, moving this around and make sure you try to scale it in a way that becomes as big as the other one and a, li a little bit bigger like this. Now you can uh, uh, remove your hand from the control button or the command button in case you're using a Mac. And you could actually drag this downward from here away from this. Now, 
what I can do as well, I can push this a little bit to the top. I don't want this to be in the center. Now I'm going to click on this shadow. Now this acts as an image, this shadow. I want you to click edit image. And basically all you need to do here is to come over to blur. And now I want you to go to whole image, increase the intensity of the blur to have something that looks like this it needs to be kind of blurry. And now we are done. We can go back. We have our blurred shadow. Now, as you can see, this is our blurred shadow. Now, what I want you to do is to click on the control button and make sure you drag this up like so. And then I want you to position this to back. And now you can see that that creates that kind of shadow, which by the way, can be changed by just simply moving this shadow a little bit. Now, I just like to move it, but not that much. So this is really interesting. You can see that now we've created the shadow. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go to elements and look for a video about the desert or an image about the desert. Either way. In this case, I'm going to go with a video of the desert. So I'm going to say desert in the search and then go to videos. Obviously, we have a bunch of videos and I'm going to pick the video with the camels, except for I think I'm going to be going with this one right here because the camels are exactly in the level I want them to be. So I'm going to click add the video. But then again, I would want you to go to playback option and increase the video speed a bit much. And now you can also go and edit this video by adding a festive background, for example, to kind of, you know, make the colors a little bit better. So I'll just click here and make it festive. And by the way, if you want to use duotone, you'll not be able to do it for this, but you can control the tint and saturation, all these, these factors play in changing the color, except for they don't do a pretty big job. So I'm going to take this particular video. Now notice one thing, when you, when you click the video from here, it applies to the frame, but when you pick it from a place where your mouse, mouse is not inside of the frame, your mouse is here. If you pick it from here, it doesn't apply, but if I pick it and drag it here, it applies. So hope that makes sense. Or you can use the control button if that doesn't work for you. Now I'm going to drag this over here and I have to remember precisely where I've dragged it. So now I think that this fits because it's, it's exactly the size I want it to be. So that's pretty interesting. Now that I have my video over there, what I want you to do is just go and trim this because I want to obviously turn it into a GIF that I can use later. And then I'm going to click done on 6.2 seconds. And now I want to uh, create, not create a duplicate, but position this to back and also click it again and make sure that I duplicate this by clicking this button. Now I have a duplicate, which I can drag immediately inside of the frame, but to achieve a coherence, I would like you to double click on that particular uh, image inside of the frame and make sure that you adjust its position perfectly to be exactly positioned where we want it to be. So I'm going to drag it from this area drag it from the other area, you know, to kind of fit the screen. And you can see it's kind of fitting the screen right now, which is exactly what I want. And it's creating that illusion. So now if I click out, notice what happens. It say it says desert, but, it, but at the same time, you can see that it almost seems like it's ingrained inside of the background itself. And without that shadow, it wouldn't have worked. All right. It would absolutely have not worked. Now, of course, this is loading. So what I could do is I could just come over here and click the download button and I could now download this as a GIF or an MP4 video, whatever it is you want to download it as. So this is one of those things, one of those tricks that you can utilize. Hopefully you find it useful because I do, and I will see you in the next video.